Walter A. Shewart. Walter A. Shewart was an engineer and a statistician for Bell Laboratories. Began to focus on controlling processes in the mid 1920s. He is known as the father of modern quality control. His concepts are referred as statistical quality control. Let's watch the video lecture which will give you more information about Walter A. Shewart. Walter A. Shewart. Shewhart emphasized the theory of probability as the tool of the statistician. It is his knowledge and use of the theory of probability that distinguishes the statistician from the expert in chemistry, agriculture, bacteriology, medicine, production, consumer research, engineering or anything else. Quality control meant the use of statistical methods to him all the way from raw material to consumer and back again through redesign of product, reworking of specifications of raw materials in a continuous cycle as results come in from consumer research and from other tests. He was quick to see that quality must mean not necessarily high quality but dependable and economic quality which in turn meant quality suited to the purpose. But what quality is suited to the purpose? Statistical methods for discovery of what product is needed, what quality is needed and for learning how a product performs in service and in the laboratory are thus necessary ingredients of the statistical control of quality. The world knows him for the Shuhart control charts and the world lives better for them. They are, however, only one of his statistical contributions. He leaves a rich legacy that will take years to absorb. For example, his rules 1 and 2 on the presentation of data. Rule 1. Original data should be presented in a way that will preserve the evidence in the original data for all the predictions assumed to be useful. Rule 2. Any summary of a distribution of numbers should not give an objective degree of belief in any one of the inferences or predictions to be made there, for that would cause human action significantly different from what this action would be if the original distribution had been taken as a basis for evidence. Then there is his criterion of meaning. Every sentence in order to have definite scientific meaning must be practically or at least theoretically verifiable as either true or false upon the basis of experimental measurements, either practically or theoretically obtainable by carrying out a definite and previously specified operation in the future. The meaning of such a sentence is the method of its verification. The above rules and criterion of meaning were, to him, a necessary ingredient of industrial research for the reason that, as he stated, industrial research is more exacting than pure science. His faith in the power of the statistical method in all human inquiry was unshakable. Although operational definitions, his criterion of meaning and his rules 1 and 2 for the presentation of data have been known to scientists for several generations, no one has stated them so well as Shuhart. Dr. W. Edwards Deming, if you can't describe what you are doing as a process, you don't know what you are doing, said by W. Edwards Deming. Dr. William Edwards Deming was an American statistician, college professor, author, lecturer, and consultant. He is credited with improving production in the United States during World War II, though he is best known for his work in Japan. Early Life and Work of Dr. W. Edwards Deming Born and raised in Iowa, USA. 1921, graduated with a B.S. in Electrical Engineering. 1925, received an M.S. from the University of Colorado. 
1927 to 1939, worked as mathematical physicist at the United States Department of Agriculture. 1928, received a PhD from Yale University. 1939 to 1945, statistical advisor for the United States Census Bureau. 1946 to 1993, professor of statistics at New York University's Graduate School of Business Administration. 1988 to 1993, taught at Columbia's University's Graduate School of Business, a consultant for private business till age of 93. Now have a look at the e-lecture for more understanding. Ma'am, I have read about William Edwards Deming and I am very impressed with him. William Edwards Deming is widely acknowledged as the leading management thinker in the field of quality. Madam, please tell me about the early life and work of Deming. Dr. William Edwards Deming was an American statistician, college professor, author, lecturer, and consultant. He was born and raised in Iowa, USA, and enrolled in the University of Wyoming at Laramie in 1917. From there, he graduated in 1921 with B.S. in Electrical Engineering. In 1925, he received an MS from the University of Colorado and, in 1928, a PhD from Yale University. Yes, he has worked as a mathematical physicist at the United States Department of Agriculture. He was a statistical advisor for the United States Census Bureau from 1939 to 45. He became a part of the Japanese post-war industrial revival from 1950 onward when he taught top management how to improve design, product quality, testing, and sales in Japan. He really was a great person. I look forward to learn more about this truly remarkable man and his philosophy. Yes, of course. Sure. Work in Japan After World War II 1947, Deming was involved in early planning for the 1951 Japanese Census by the Department of the Army. During June to August 1950, Deming trained hundreds of engineers, managers, and scholars in statistical process control and concepts of quality. Deming's message to Japan's chief executives was, improving quality will reduce expenses while increasing productivity and market share. Later work in the U.S. Dr. Deming continued running his own consultancy business in the United States. In 1980, following the broadcast of a documentary on him on American national television, demand for his services increased dramatically, and Deming continued consulting for industry throughout the world until his death at the age of 93. Deming's 14 Points In 1993, Dr. Deming published his final book The New Economics for Industry, Government, Education, which included the system of profound knowledge and the 14 points for management. Eliminate numerical quotas, including management by objectives. Quoted by William Edwards Deming these points have inspired significant changes among a number of leading U.S. companies striving to compete in the world's increasingly competitive environment.